What is a CO2 CNC laser and how does it work? Today, we are going to talk about some basic information that every laser machine owner should know. How is the laser beam formed in CO2 CNC machines and how does it work? We have a lot of interesting content for you, so subscribe to our channel. Let's start. The direct purposes of a laser CO2 machine are cutting and engraving. Cutting and engraving are popular due to a number of advantages of this process and in demand in any field and industry. It doesn't matter if it's your hobby or a full-fledged production. So, let's get to the subject. What is the working principle of a laser? Laser focuses the laser beam at a narrow point, caustic point, to vaporize the material. CO2 laser machines consist of a glass tube, which is a bulb with three internal cavities. The outer and inner cavity is filled with a mixture of carbon dioxide, nitrogen and helium, while the middle cavity is designated for water cooling. When the electricity passes through the glass tube, it activates the gas medium, namely excites the molecules of the gas mixture and increases their energy. Both sides of the laser tube have conductors, cathode and anode, which transfer electricity from the high voltage unit. The excited gas molecules release energy in the form of bright light. Its wavelength lies in the infrared spectrum and is therefore invisible. That's why you have to take special care and mind safety measures when working with the machine. Then the laser beam exits the tube and is reflected by a system of moving mirrors that are mounted on the machine. Normally there are three of them. The first mirror is stationary and is mounted vertically next to the transmitter. The other two are mounted on the moving parts of the machine, both vertically and horizontally, so they can move to any set point. The final reflected section of the beam passes through the focusing lens, which is also located on the laser head, and then reaches the material. Here on our channel, we have a detailed video how to align your laser machine. We put the link to the video in the description below, so you can save it to use it in your work. Everything is clear with the laser, now let's find out, how does a CNC laser machine work? The CNC allows the moving parts of the machine to move along a set path and emit the laser at the required time interval and the required power. The motherboard to decide where to move and when to turn on the laser is a special board located inside the machine to spread signals and commands to other electronic components by the conductors. The machine housing is equipped with a controller with a display and buttons for setup and control. Please note that the electrical and water conducting systems of Watson laser machines are located on opposite sides of the machine housing. This ensures the safety of its operation. How do the moving parts of the laser machine move? The gantry is moved along the Y-axis, while the X-axis is used to move the laser head along the gantry. Some CO2 laser machine configurations may have an additional third Z-axis for vertical movement of the laser head. Normally, this option is used in thin sheet metal cutting machines to compensate for irregularities in the sheet metal. The motherboard uses the controller to send a signal through the encoder and drive the stepper motors. A stepper driver is a device that directs the motors in which axis, where and by how much to move the gantry or machine head in the working area. The working field of the machine is like a large chessboard with many cells, coordinates. When you load the template into the machine and start it up, imagine that the motherboard starts to play chess with itself. It determines from which square, where to move and when to turn on the laser to execute a set program. If, during operation, the machine moves the laser head slowly and sets a high power of radiation, the impact is so high that the laser cuts the material through. On the contrary, engraving requires high travel speed and low power. The machine moves quickly left and right, shifting step by step by about one millimeter, as if it were doing a burnout pour. For more convenient engraving, we recommend making an illustrative table. Find our video at the link in the description on how to make an engraving table. The laser head moves at speeds of up to 700 millimeters per second and the control system manages to turn the laser itself on and off in just the right fraction of a second to produce a quality picture. The air supply to the cutting or engraving area is very important for the machine operation. A strong air supply is required when cutting from most materials, 
and a weak air supply when engraving. Watch more about each material and the key features of its processing on our channel. The laser is used to engrave and cut high precision figures and images due to its high resolution and 0.01 mm positioning accuracy. Templates are prepared in vector editors, then exported to RDWorks, and there converted to machine readable code. Use RDWorks to set the parameters for cutting or engraving and other settings, and then the machine does everything alone. In the next videos, we will talk on how to work in RDWorks. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Share the video with your friends and let more people learn about modern cutting and engraving techniques. This is Verma. See you in the next video.